Hey guys. So hey guys. Connor's joining me today. Um, we decided we're going to start doing some new kinds of videos. Kids are getting a little bit older and I don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over again. Um, right now I'm leaning, we're leaning on my chalkboard door. If you see all the scribbles, that's what's going on. But um, I want to kind of share, I've been on a weight loss and fitness journey uh, for about a year now actually. I have been in journeys. Journeys, right. Um, and since I've had Annie, I've lost about 70 pounds. Yes, and 30 pounds a Kroger. Kroger, okay. Um, and I just want to share with you kind of how I've been and, eating. And we went to a fire station. Connor wants you to know we went to a fire station. Um, and I, can, you, can you let me talk for a minute? Yeah. Okay, thanks. So I want to share with you kind of our typical day of eating. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share today with you. And then, I, I just want you to know I'm not going out of my way to do anything fancy. So you're going to kind of see some plain food, but um, it's healthy food. And I definitely still uh, eat some bad things. But the most important thing is that I do track my calories. And so if you see me eating something high in calories or not so good for me, I it is all still accounted for. I, I have broken that. Um, so yeah, it's all counted for, it counts in my total daily goal. And um, I'm also gonna let you know what workout I'm doing every day and the times I do wear a heart rate monitor, which I don't wear it every time I work out, but um, maybe for these videos I'll try especially hard to wear my heart rate monitor so I can tell you exactly how many calories I've burned. Um, and then we can get a really good idea of what's going in, what's going out, and um, the number one things I've discovered on this journey is make sure that I eat enough. Um, it was harder for me to lose weight when I wasn't eating a lot and the workouts I do are really, they really boost your metabolism. So especially days I work out and the day after I work out, which I work out almost every day, is uh, and backwards. I'm just a lot hungry. I'm starting a 30 day challenge through Beachbody with my sister-in-law. I'm also a coach, but she's my coach, so I'm doing a challenge with her. Today I'm having, um, this is just coffee with a little bit of uh, coffee creamer from Trader Joe's. The kids are having oatmeal. It's a uh, cinnamon spice, I think. And it's from Trader Joe's, it's organic oatmeal. So they're eating that, is that yummy? Uh-huh, okay, now back to what I'm eating. Um, these are Rudy's whole grain English muffins, and they have uh, flaxseed in them also. And then I take a stick of butter and I whip it with a little bit of olive oil and water. It makes it a lot more spreadable. Um, it does dilute the salt a little bit, so if you like a salty butter, then add a little bit of extra salt. And I just whip it in my mixer over there. So this is like my breakfast, and then I will be eating again shortly, but this is what we're starting with today. All right, so the kids are having a little snack. You can see um, these are dried papaya spears. So they're each eating one for their little after breakfast snack. All right, so it's late morning, about noon, and I'm gonna go ahead and lift some weights now. I use the Bowflex Lectech um, just because I really like those. If you find an online coupon, sometimes you can take it into a sports store and they'll honor it. I got mine that way at a discount and I didn't have to pay the shipping that you would normally have to pay uh, for the weights. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift. Maybe my son can get a video of some of that. I mostly just work arms and then do some squats with them as well. But uh, I think today will mostly be an arm day for me. All right, I'm making lunch. I wanted to show you what we're doing. This is a whole wheat tortilla with um, Trader Joe's whipped cream cheese, sliced up cucumbers, and a piece of, um, this is the lunch meat we use, Applegate Naturals uh, turkey herb breast. You, I'm gonna roll them up and slice them as pinwheels. And then broccoli slaw with a uh, island soyaki dressing um, for me, and then the kids are going to have ice cube tray lunches, and I'll, sh I'll take a picture of those. Um, but Annie likes her broccoli slaw plain, and Connor likes it with the dressing, so I'll spoon some of that into his. And I'll slice these up, and then there'll be a couple other things that they get in their trays. Um, but I wanted to show you 
Oh, and we use, on the cream cheese, I use 21 seasoning salute and a little bit of the garlic salt ground onto the cream cheese before I put the cucumbers on. All right, so here is the final lunch trays. We have this salad I was telling you about. Um, the pinwheels with turkey and cucumbers. Some little sliced cucumbers, some sliced up um, rainbow carrots, some dried cranberries, and these are chocolate covered uh, sunflower seeds. So that's what the kids have. And then I have the pinwheel and the salad. Um, just more pinwheel and more salad than the kids do. But that is lunch today. And Annie has cheese and Connor has yogurt. That's their little dairy that they get with lunch. All right. Do you like your ice cube tray lunches? Do you ask for them every day? Yeah. The kids actually eat really well in most of their food if uh, I use an ice cube tray. So that's what we do. All right, so I'm working and Connor's in his tent watching the movie and this is our little afternoon snack. So. I have a bowl, this is one serving size, of Trader Joe's multi-seed with soy sauce rice crackers. And I love this because you get like a whole bowl for 110 calories, so really great snack. Um, and then Connor, this is his bowl, he's got some dried cranberries, pretzels, and a few, I don't know if you can see, but there's like maybe 10 uh, chocolate covered sunflower seeds and then I did have a 70% dark cocoa chocolate bar um, and these are from Trader Joe's they're 100 calories the bar so um, got that and Connor's snack and my snack and my water um, and that is the afternoon snack okay I'm going to show you one more thing I snuck today and that is uh, Trader Joe's mini mint ice cream mouthfuls um, they're about the size of an Oreo, but they are stuffed with ice cream, and they are 60 calories each, so it's a, it's a good treat that's uh, not too, too bad for you. Um, I'm working on dinner. We are having sweet potato gnocchi with butter and sage, and then uh, I'm steaming some green beans in the microwave. Um, so that will be our dinner tonight. You can see it's kind of cooking there, keeping a little bit of steam in it. Okay, so here's what it looks like plated. Sweet potato gnocchi with butter and sage. Green beans with uh, cracked black pepper and salt, a little bit of butter. And then this is homemade whole wheat bread. Um, with a little butter, cheese, and garlic salt. So kids are having the same thing, just a little bit less. Um, and I think they'll probably each either have a banana or an apple, whichever they choose. And I'm not sure if my husband's going to like the gnocchi, so I haven't put anything on his plate yet. But Annie's ready. Connor's getting out of the bath right now, so we are just about to eat. You ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I just finished my workout, and tonight I did Turbo Fire, Fire 30, um, Stretch 10, and I also lifted just for a little bit. I only did... Uh, triceps and biceps tonight. Um, so I burned 316 calories in about an hour between turbo fire and lifting, wearing my heart rate monitor. And this is my post-workout snack. Um, I have a Trader Joe's strawberry vanilla Greek yogurt and some pumpkin spice granola. Um, I do use a food scale to measure out things like this. Um, so I know exactly my post-workout snack has 440 calories. Um, and then I'm over 33. My goal is 16 to net 1600. So I really ate, I know this isn't clear, I'll put a screenshot in. I ate uh, 1949 calories today, exercised 316, and so my net is 1633. So that's not bad at all. And then my daily summary um, was 49% carbs, 39% uh, fat, and 12% protein. So 
Um, I'm not quite where I want to be with all of that. I use my fitness pal, that's what this app is. Um, and I can kind of see what I have left and what I ate too much of. Like today I had too much saturated fat. Um, just a little bit and I went over on my sugar and I needed more protein today. 17 more grams I should have because I worked out. It, it gives me more or says I need more. So um, it's something, you know, constantly seeing how I do and, and tweaking what I eat. But um, that was today. I'm pretty pleased overall. Uh, tomorrow I'll probably try to get a little more protein because um, we didn't really have any meat except for one slice of turkey today. So I did get a lot of other protein from other sources, just not quite enough. We don't eat much meat in our house, so um, I'll probably make some quinoa tomorrow, possibly. We shall see. All right, but that, that was a day of eating in our house. Bye, guys.